Not to be confused with the slice tool, which is the little exacto blade on the toolbar, which I don't know anybody that uses it. I guess it's for slicing up web graphics, but I don't know. I kind of wish the knife tool was the exacto blade because that's how I think of it. But no, the knife tool is underneath the eraser tool and connected to that little tool group. And it looks like a saw. It doesn't even look like a knife. But here's what it does. If you have a group of objects, let's say, let me zoom in. Uh-oh, I skipped ahead. There we go. If I have this, this object here and, you know, I want to make a shape that follows her cheek, let's say. If I take that knife tool, I can go in and make kind of a hand, freehand motion down the side of her face, let's say, and just cut through that shape. And it looks like a really dramatic gash on the side of her face. But what it did was it cut the boundary of that shape. So now it's an individual piece that I can color and modify and edit outside of the other object that was already there. So I don't have to draw a new shape. I can use the shape that's already there and cut it and slice it up. And I shouldn't say slice because that again is confusing it with the other tool, but knife it. And then uh, you get that piece that you can color and modify individually. So that's a really useful tool when coloring or modifying shapes. It's a great way to separate things.